we now have proven two angles in the triangle's congruent, which lets us say that triangle ABE is similar to triangle ACD, and that's by the angle-angle similarity postulate. Or we could even write angle-angle triangle similarity postulate if we want to be more specific. Here's another example. I want you to prove triangle CDF similar to triangle DEF. Again, chances are you're going to be using angle-angle triangle similarity. Take a moment, work this one out on your own. When you're ready, you can resume the video and check your answer. Well, right away, we do see we have vertical angles. So we know that one's going to be congruent to two. You also should make note of parallel lines. If we look at these two parallel lines cut by transversal SU, then we have alternate interior angles, angle 3 and angle 4. If we look at our two parallel lines cut by the transversal RT, we have alternate interior angles 5 and 6. Let's construct our proof now. We only need two pairs of congruent angles. We have our statements. We have our reasons. The only thing we are given is that SR is parallel to TU. We then know that Angle 3 is congruent to angle 4. This is by the alternate interior angle theorem, which also tells us that angle 5 is congruent to angle 6. If I want to, I can stop right there and go ahead and say that triangle, oh, this shouldn't be CDF, sorry, this should be triangle SVR, similar to triangle. U, V, T. Well, I can now say triangle S, V, R is similar to triangle U, V, T. This is by angle, angle, triangle similarity postulate. If you wanted to, you could also insert a statement saying that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2 by the vertical angle theorem. However, that's not necessary because statement two gives us our two necessary angles. All right, last example before we look at some homework problems. In the figure below, determine which triangles below are similar and informally reason why they are similar. Well, looking at our two triangles below, take a moment, work this out on your own first. Resume the video when you're ready to see the solution. So my two triangles that I want to look at are CDF and DEF. That's because both triangles have a right angle, whereas the big triangle doesn't have a right angle, or at least not one that we can readily see right now. Let's fill in our missing angles. If CDF has angle 32 and 90, then this third angle must be 180 minus 90, <coughs> which is 90 degrees. And then we want to also minus 32, meaning this angle must be 58 degrees. Well, look at that. DEF also has 58 degrees. And just to double check, we could reason through and say that the third angle of DEF is 32 degrees, meaning triangle CDF must be similar. Let's see, C corresponds with D. Then D up here corresponds with E down here. And F corresponds with F. <coughs> 